comes to kissing pretty women. Little Abby goes go, go. Daisy May pursues him. He always runs away. Daisy hollers, whoa! But you ought to see him go on saying Hawkins Day. Get yourself all pretty up because your cousin Delightful is coming over from Pineapple Junction today. I remember's Granny. Hey ho! There's that lonesome polecat a messing around. Him and that hairless Joe are two of the most worthless bachelors they is. Well, stir yourself, gal. didn't tell secret. Here, get some water for Granny. I'll get the kindling. Where's the axe? Me trade them to Mary and Sam for firebox. Why don't you light it? Firebox no good. Pity you ain't married, so we wouldn't be putting up with them worthless critters to get a little work done. But, Granny, I told Look you... Look at you. There you stand with the best years of your life behind you. And nary a hiding your hair of a husband as you got. But I ain't interested in marrying just any men folks. I love the Labner. Pretty soon the men folks ain't even going to look at you. They desire his junkins. Gals will spunk. <laughs> I don't care. It's only a little ass. Yes, you would, Granny. Well, it's about time. Oh, crunch, oh. Oh. You clumsy idiot. You trying to knock over our poor little house? I only brung a handful, Granny, and you told me to pile it close to the cabin. Oh, God. Oh. Take them water. If I catch you throwing any more wood in my house, I'll... I'll... Uh... It's Granny. <laughs> well, can me, brown heart. Oh, he can't help it. He's stupid. He sure is. And so are you, oh. the big lummox. Oh. It'll be the death of me yet. Oh, if Daisy May could only get that little Abner. Is you very hungry this morning, son? Not ravenous, mammy, just kinda. Well, in that case, I'll... 
only put on just a few more. Is your ass Pappy? Pappy! Is your ass? He sure do try my patience. How you coming, Pansy? How you wait? I'm coming. Here, son. Set yourself. I sure ain't hungry. Someday I ain't a gonna wake you up for breakfast. And you're gonna sleep right through all your meals. Oh, one happy day. I reckons we has the finest food in all the world. Pork chops and eggs for breakfast, pork chops and goobers for lunch, and for supper, more pork chops. Even though this ain't Sunday, we Now, might... don't you start getting your mouth set for them preserved turnips, Lucifer ornamental yokum. Little Abner's taking them to the store directly after breakfast. See if you can make out this print. What do you make of it? Nothing. Good for fire. No, no. Reading. Howdy, fellas. Howdy, little Abner. Him read printing? So sure does. I can read writing and reading, too. Oh, you're the most intelligent young gentleman in dope bath. Well, I reckon I is. What him say? Among the... the... Stink wished visitors were tickle my bones. That certainly do sound pretty. Will be Dr. James A. Barber, the cell e braided his printing's all mixed up, y'all. I reckon I'll better study it out. T S Y, C, eight. What's that? Maybe it's a woodpecker. Maybe it's skunk hollowers. Oh. oh. Why, it's Cicero grunts. Oh, it's the old little Abner. What are you doing here, boy? Oh, nothing. Just hanging these up for the sheriff. Don't you tell nobody you saw me with these papers. Don't fret yourself, Cicero Grunts. We won't. What him say? $25 reward for Earthquake Magoon. Date or a lie. Better date. For Robin, the first state bank of Jonesville. The sheriff. Hmm. And you would really say $25 cash money? That's what it'd say. Oh, that sheriff must think we all idiots. They ain't that much money in the whole of tarnation. Oh, shit. What's the use of talking? Anyone knows you can't go in a skunk holler and come out alive. So our guess is Magoon's safe. Hey, didn't I tell you that paper ain't meant for making fire? Yeah. You'll keep it, little Abner. Maybe you can read again for us. I'll be glad to. Uh, well, I gotta get it going. So long. So long. Twenty-five hours. Make them fire. Ancestors, very clever people.
Delightful? Every time you come to visit, you just has messes of boys hanging around. Messes is right. You never seen such messes as some of them boys. Four days you may, she can't get even one. Oh, that's too bad. She's welcome to any of these. I don't think she'd be interested. She's plumb sought on just one boy. Where is she? Down large, chasing after that little Abner. You mean that big, handsome boy? Mm-hmm. Mm. I think I'll go down and look up the days in May. That's all, boy. Uh -huh. mm. Lovely. That's what he is, just plain lovely. Little Abner, you! The same. Is you going north to Pineapple Junction? No. Is you maybe headed south for Sweet Patootie Corner? No. Why is she headed for, little Abner? I'm ahead for so tart at John stall. Well, I will ask for and receive five pounds of boiled ham, one spool of thread number ten white, one can of pineapple, two pounds of cheese, half soles for Pappy's boots, one large jar of sweet patootie, one large jar of sour pickle, one bottle of ketchup, one bottle of mustard, one can of pea powder for salome, two twists of pipe tobacco for my mammy. That our turns on my heel makes a beeline for home. What a pico you're calling to this. I said it's the fault of John Stone likewise. So likewise, I used to turn on my heel and make a beeline back up. Oh. There's so, so no reason why we can't walk together, is there? Ain't no log, Janet. someone strong to hold on to. Wait here. I'll see if there's someone strong around. Yo is strong and yo is around. Suppose now does help you. There's nothing romantical about it. We both understand that. Don't we? Yes, little Abner. Give me your arm. What party flowers? That's a lie. <laughs> oh, walking arm in arm with your heads close together, a smell of flower. Worst case of love I ever seen. I hates love. What's about her to be in love, Bob? She's only got golden yellow hair, no more golden yellow than the summer sun. Her eyes are only as blue as the sky. The teeth are no more white or shinier than pearls. As for her cheeks, I can show you plenty of peaches, which is Almost as soft and pink and white. Yo thinks love is what I is in up with her. Yo take that back. Little, little Abner, yo was right. She is just an ordinary, yaller-haired, blue-eyed, pinky-cheeked gal. Just like yo say, anybody'd be a fool to be in love with her. Yes, sir, an awful fool. Oh, what for you bought me? And I kind of what you done said about Daisy May. Oh, I said it was what you said. She wrecked. Only you said as if you meant it. Wait for me, little Abner. 
I'll walk by myself, thank you. You're always getting me talked about. <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Daisy May, I sure powerful glad to see you. Same here, delightful. What for you let him get away? I couldn't help it. I loved him so. What can be wrong? Maybe you need a new technique. Technique? What's that? Oh, that's what you gotta have to get him. Let's see. He's the tall, dark, and ignorant type. A boy like him requires only the crudest technique. It's the uh, you who less woo. Then do as your conscience tells you. Technique. Sure wish I had some. I'll show you how it's done. Will you? Nothing to it. Hello, Lil Abner. Howdy, Mr. Old Timer. He's the most humorous looking gal you ever see. Look at the bugle on him. <laughs> boys, boys. You're always too young and innocent to know what she's laughing at. What do you mean, old timer? What's this Sadie Hawkins day? A long time ago, this gal, uh, Sadie Hawkins, lived right here in Dog Patch. For years, she tried to catch herself a husband. Didn't have no luck. Finally, her pappy, who was the mayor, Called all the bachelors of Dog Patch together, pulled out his gun and says, I declare today Sadie Hawkins Day. When I fires my gun, you all can begin a running. After you've got a fair start, Sadie will take out. And the man she catches is going to be her husband. That's how it started. Now, every year when Sadie Hawkins Day rolls around, life ain't safe for any male critter in Dog Patch. Now, did you get the idea? I'll never be able to understand technique. The land. As a special favor to you, I'll contact you, little Abner. You'll go hard and watch me work my technique. Can I? But you gotta promise to take him off my hands. After he falls madly in love of me. I'll be so glad to take him off in your hands. Go on, get it. than I thought. I gotta use a cruder technique. How are you, little Abner? Morning, Barney Bargree. Nice morning. Sure is. Sloppy beast, ma'am. Name a little Abner Yoakum. Oh. Don't worry, ma'am. He'll fall in just a minute. I'll give my dog Pat's lullaby, which my mammy teached me. <laughs> they always act like that at first. Why does you reckon he wanted to kiss me? Dog the farm knows I can't see no reason for it myself. You can't? I don't know why any intelligent man would want to go kissing a gal. Well, it ain't the kissing our minds, it's the trouble it starts. You kiss a girl and what happens? She gets romantical, she wants more. She follows you day and night and finally your brain weakens and you marries her. She has lots of children. She gets old and gray worrying about them. So your children marries and has children, then you not only got to worry about your children, but about your grandchildren. Your grandchildren has children, and by that time you has the misery and the rheumatism, and pretty soon you dies. That's why I don't like kissing. Oh, little Abner, yo is just my type. Yo ain't romantical, and that's just what I ain't. Is that what yo ain't? 
Romantical is exactly what I ain't, as you can plainly see. Well, you owe us one gal and an awful lot. Sure would be nice to sit in that log and rest if I had some nice sensitive boy to talk to. If I sees one, ma'am, I'll be glad to send him back here. Trouble is, most boys get romantical, and I'd hate that. Naturally. But Joe wouldn't get romantical, would you, Mr. Yoakum? Not me. That's fine. Then we can talk about interesting subjects. Something that ain't romantical. Show sure not. You know, it's kind of pretty in here with soft wind blowing through the trees. And little birds singing. Beautiful flowers are smelling up the air. You know what it makes me feel like? No, what do it make you feel like? Like discussing educational subjects. For instance, what to do if a skunk gets in your woodshed. You know, skunks is funny little critters. I like discussing educational subjects and uh, learn things. What'll we discuss? Let's discuss the subject of Eskimos. What's that? People. Would you like to know how Eskimos kiss? No. Oh, they don't kiss the way you think. Put out your hand. That's how Eskimos kiss. Oh, Eskimos is so wonderful. Ooh. Would you like to know how Eskimos shaped hands? So would. Shut your eyes. Mm. Man, what a technique I got. Little Abner, little Abner, honey, is your hurt? Oh. Get out of sight. My technique is just starting to work. Get. Get. Did you like that, little Abner? Oh, I hated it. I knew kissing to do this it hurt my head. I'm a going home. You ain't going to run away after giving me such a nice kiss. Yo kissed me. I didn't kiss yo. Because if I did, we'd be engaged. That's the code of the hills. <laughs> oh, my poor head. Oh. Ain't he honorable? I'm going back to Pineapple Junction. These men around here don't make no sense. You sure make sense to me. Fancy you scrubbing a hide off my back. Might as well quit complaining, Lucifer. It's coming on winter and it's time for your bath. Oh, I'm the most unhappy man. Hi, Lucifer. Morning, Fantastic Brown. Hmm. Don't seem like no time since I gave my Fantastic his spring clean-in. Ow! Ow! Tain't human, that's what it is. Get for home. You're next. Ow! Oh, tain't no ass dear time for my winter scrubbing. Mammy. All feels gant, Mammy. And powerful hungry, like it always does come noon. Get yourself a sandwich. That'll keep you faint up. Sure. And don't dance quick till I get through with Pappy. Quick, quick! I just feel it. Got no mercy. 
When I got a job to do, I does it. Howdy, Mrs. Shulkum. Howdy, Hannibal Hoop. Where at little Abner? Me and him's are going fishing. He's getting himself some vittles. No! <laughs> I'll go tell him I'm here. <laughs> Benji, have a little mercy on me. What you fixing, little Abner? The Oakum starvation preventer. Smells like you got sweet patootie in her. Not only sweet patootie, but I asked also sour pickles. Ham and cheese with ketchup, pineapple, sardines off the can, of course. Two fried eggs left from breakfast, a rash of roast talk, lots of ketchup. Ain't you finished yet, Pansy? Oh. I started at the top. <laughs> you see? You're beginning to like it. Oh. So looks powerful good. Something missing. Maybe it's mustard. Maybe it was right. A little mustard on the picture. Stay right while you eat. Come here, Salome. <laughs> yeah, Salome. Yeah. Might as well quit complaining, Salome. Won't do you no good. What's the matter, little Abner? I got a most peculiar feeling. Oh, it must be because my stomach's empty. <laughs> Mammy, I's got a terrible misery in my stomach. What you put in your sandwich, son? Just a few things and enough ketchup and horseradish and mustard to make it tasty. Mustard? You know that stuff ain't agreed with you since the time you ate that mustard plaster when you was a little baby. What you need is a doctor. There ain't no doctor around here. You know that. There'll be one. Says so right here. Dr. Barber will be on the limited when it stops at the county siding for water at noon. And that's right where I'm a go. <laughs> Don't be late for supper, son. <laughs> well, there she is. Oh, I wonder where Dr. Barber is at. <coughs> always stretch the old soup bones when you get a chance. That's what I always say. There's a man got on a white coat like doctors has. Maybe that's Dr. Barber. I'll go ask him. You go that away in case it ain't. Joe Barber? That's me. What's in your mind, kid? Can you fix me up? Well, that's a pretty big order. <laughs> that mop looks like a busted mattress. But with my trusty scissors, I can probably fix you up all right. You ain't gonna cut me, is you? Hmm? What's the matter with you, boy? I'm sick. Powerful sick. Well, now, what am I supposed to do? Bust out in tears? That'd be mighty sweet of you, but all I want to know is what ails me. Well, sir, <laughs> that's what we'd all like to know. Can't be my appetite, because I just ate a combination ham, cheese, pineapple, sardine, sweet patootie, sour pickle, fried egg, preserved turnip, and roast hog sandwich. Whew! Whoa, with cats of horseradish and mustard, doctor. Doctor? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, can't be your appetite, son. Let me see. <clears throat> doctor. Mm -hmm. Stick out your tongue. Let me look at that tongue. Stick it way out, way out. That's it. Now, uh, say ah. Oh, uh, you're flat. Is I? Uh, 
Well, now, <clears throat> just uh, take a good deep breath now. Take a good deep breath. That's it. Now, stick your stomach out. Come on, stick it out. Stick it way out. That's it. Now, close your eyes. Oh! Did you feel a sharp twinge? All aboard? Oh, my boy, that's bad. That's bad. You've got it. All You've aboard. got it. What has I've got? You've got thrombosis. Thrombosis? Will I die? You're dead now, from the neck up. How soon will the rest of me be dead? In 24 hours. I didn't find no Dr. Barber. Oh, I did. You did? What did he say? He told me I was going to be dead in 24 hours. On account of, I got scrombosis. You don't mean you'll be dead by the Mari? Dater than a catfish, hate come noon. That's life. The hour today, the hour tomorrow. Hello, Mammy. How's your feelings, son? Hot is happy. How's your misery? My stomach feels fine. If only the doctor hadn't told me, I wouldn't know I was going to be dead in 24 hours. Dead? What you mean? Just plain dead. Oh, horseradish. Well, all you got is a tinch of mustard poisoning. You're always very comforting. But I has prepared my mind. Well, son, if you're going to be dead, you're going to be dead. We will be more sad and lonely. Naturally. A daisy may will be most sad, too. Seems to me it ain't fair you're dying. And not telling her nothing about it. Those key wrecked, Mammy. All that tells her I loves her. Do you? Uh, I mean that I dislikes her less than any other gal. What must I do, Mammy? You could marry up with her. I could. Now that I'm going to be dead. Uh, son, your, your time's getting mighty short. I'm going to make love to her like she always wanted me to. <laughs> Happy, shut your face. Here, Hannibal. You follow his little Abner. Does he do anything peculiar? Come back here and tell me. Well, Mrs. Yoakum, he might... Uh... He won't just do as I tell him. Yes, sir. <laughs> Little Abner ain't gonna be dead in 24 hours. He's gonna be married with Daisy May. He is? Mm. <laughs> Happy, you is the most ignorantest critter I ever did see. <laughs> no. Uh. Well, I must say you hold your age pretty well. But you is a tempting fate. I know. It's getting along. Well, you better catch yourself a man this city, Hawkins Day, for you won't be able to run fast enough next year to catch one. I don't want just any man. I want little Abner. Kindly step out here with me. Yes, of course I will. Oh, I was just telling you. Our aim is to make love to your uh, powerful, romantical love. We were just talking. Huh? What'd you say? I'm going to make love to your powerful romantical love. Let's go. Yeah. The sharp place looks romantical enough. Lovely. Sit down. Well, now aims to commence making love to you. Dog patch style? Dog patch style. You wants to tell me I was your sweet patootie blossom. You wants to tell me you loves me. 
that you just can't live without me. Oh, little Abner, that's just exactly what I want to hear you say. Because love is what I'd live with you. Don't do that. I can't stand it. It's awful. Is it so awful just to have me near you, little Abner? Makes me feel miserable. When I feel miserable, I was the most unhappy man. I don't want to make you unhappy, little Abner. Shanks. Daisy May. Yes, little Abner. Come back, y'all. Yes, little Abner. This ain't the way I planned it. Sit down. Shut your eyes. Congratulations. You, you landed him. Will you wear your uh, pink cheese cloth or your white muslin with the make-believe sweet patchouli blossoms? I reckon I'll wear the pink with the white sweet patootie veil. Does you think that'll look pretty, little Abner? Sure will. You aiming to go to a party? Yep, a wedding party. Oh, very unfortunate. Well, who's it getting married? You and her, naturally. Mm -hmm. Me and her? Yep, you and her. I didn't say nothing about no getting married. I wanted to make her happy, so I kissed her. That's all. That's enough. The boys around here don't kiss girls until the day before they get married. And today's the day before you get married. That's the code of the hills. Our respects and salutes the code of the hills. I love the code of the hills. <laughs> Goodbye, noon's coming fast enough, and you've got things to do. Come on. Goodbye, little Abner, dear. I'll be at your wedding tomorrow. Little Abner, huh? you can't get married tomorrow noon. I got it. It's the code of the hills. But you'll be dayed. And if I'm dead, I can't be married. Oh, happy to marry noon. I also got things to do. Here I am, knowing all about my future, and doing nothing about my mammies and my poor pappies. You know, it's most kind and considerate to be thinking of them at a time like this. You see this paper? Sure, I ain't blind. That's the Magoon reward. I'm going to Skunk Holler. But our I aims to call briefly on Earthquake Magoon. That's what I aims to do. Little Abner. I go to little Abra's mammy and I tell her. I smells a live dog patcher. How you know he's a dog patcher? Because he don't smell. Will you quit fainting and open that safe? I only brung you along because you're the cashier. Yes, yes, sir, Mr. McGlue. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a bit nervous.
<laughs> Earthquake Magoon, I presume. I was here to take it to the sheriff, for our aims to collect the $25 reward. <clears throat> That's most interesting. This are gifts to my sweet mammy and pappy, which they will use to live most comfortably the rest of their natural lives in dog pads. Is you from dog patch? Naturally. Does you all know that you's about to be dead? Goon's got a live hey. hand patch up there. Hey, damn man! Hold on, Sam! Come on! Hey, Magoon! Magoon's got a live dog patch! Who likes to look at the goon? Who likes to kill dog patch at goon? Gal, name of Wendy Wildcat. Well, sure is. Gal, do you know another way out of here? Them skunk hollers have got me trapped. And of course, your wish is to get out. Naturally, don't you? If I goes out, I'll have to marry up with Magoon. And he sure ain't my ideal. Does you show me another way out of here? I'll help you locate your ideal. I will be most delighted to help you. Does you keep your garden and bring me my ideal? Which is your little Abner. I'll do anything you say. I'll... Mm -hmm. Does it... Does... Oh, mean... Marry up with you? That's exactly what I mean. Oh, no, ma'am. I just couldn't. Just a minute. When must I marry up with you? Tomorrow, at noon. And not before? 
exactly at noon. I'll be yours tomorrow at noon, no matter what shape I was in. Come on, pick up your bundles and follow me. So now. This way. It's 23, 24, and 25 dollars. There you is, little Abner. Oh, thank you most kindly. Who has relieved the county of public polecat number one? And further, Mr. Yoakum, you have saved all of the bank's money and my life there. Yo is most kind. Oh, be careful. It's a 10 center. I will guard it very tenderly. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sheriff. Goodbye, my poor, innocent little pappy. I'm going to give you this enormous fortune. Goodbye. If it don't look just like a do around dog pants. Cornelius Cornpole. And only yesterday I seen him a going turkey hunting. <gasps> Cornelius Cornpole. Who is that? Is that your little Abner? Sure is. Howdy. Cornelius Cornpoon, I never thought you would make it. <laughs> uh, but your show sure is an angel. Uh, you really think so? I sure do. Tell me, Cornelius, does you like it up here? Yeah, I, I think it's fine. Cornelius, does a uh, feature good? You know, does you get preserved uh, turnips and, and pork chops, maybe? Well, yeah, of course I does. Oh, gosh, that's most encouraging. Well, I, I gotta be walking along. Is y'all gonna walk? Yeah, sure. Confounded idiot. He walks. And with a pair of wings like that. But I ain't no chump. I'm a gonna fly. Hey! Don't, don't, don't! I guess I ain't been dead long enough for him to sprout. What's the matter with your boy? Cornelius, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Where are your wings? Stop it, stop it, stop it! Is you crazy? Oh, you're just trying to kill yourself. I can't kill myself, because I was already dead. 
boy, is I? <laughs> Look, you're the livest looking yokum I ever seen. Now, oh, I just gotta be dead. On account of I done promised to marry up with two different gals come noon. Oh, what must I do? <sighs> Mammy, I'm gonna fly home and... I'm gonna walk home. All right, I can go up. about to officially proclaim an announcement about Sadie Hawkins' day, which is tomorrow. <laughs> Any man that does not appear will suffer the most distressful consequences. My committee here <laughs> will choose a wife for him, and Mary and Sam will do the rest. My dear friends of Dog Pack. That's all. The official course is marked off with the usual flags and is now open for practice. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> now, tomorrow, when I fire the shot that starts the race. Pa's here, little Abby, and yours is mine. Pa's here, and yours is mine. I can't do it. I ain't a going to. I was supposed to be dead. But you promised me, little Abner. He did not. He's got an engagement for marriage with me at this very moment. He has not, because he's going to marry with me at this very moment. He's mine. He's mine. 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 Hmm. mine. Looks like mine. some of the gals mine. is trying to jump the gun. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Tomorrow is Sadie Hawkins' day. Keep your hands off of him. You keep yours off of him. Mayor Gurgle, we've engaged to be married this very noon. She comes along and he promised work. to marry me this noon. And this here now, gal just says... a minute, just a minute. <clears throat> Little Abner, did you promise these two gals? <laughs> well, yes, sir. Oh, you I... promised. That's all I want to know. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, committee. <coughs> it is my decision that this matter be settled tomorrow in the city of Hawkins race. Whichever gal catches him, he's hern. In the meantime, little Abner Yoakum is reserved for only these two gals until sundown tomorrow. Yay! And may the best gal win. Daisy May, good luck. Thank you, Mayor. Good you. And good luck to you, Wendy. And little Abner. Little Abner. So naturally, I figured I was going to be Dave. Instead of which, I'm afraid I'm going to be married up with two different gals. Mammy, you are got to help me. Son, your hair's got yourself in a terrible mess. What must I do? According to the rules of Sadie Hawkins' day, I can't tell you nothing. I got an idea, little Abner. If something should happen to Wendy Wildcat, get it? Why, she war, war. But somebody's got to help me. All I can do is just give you a hint. What is it, Mammy? It's safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. What you mean, Pansy? Yeah. That's all I can tell you. Safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. Ah, quit your worrying, son. I washed your nice, clean shirt for the Sadie Hawkins celebration tonight. Go on, go and have a lot of fun. Safe for a hound dog and a rabbit? <laughs> Dance. Go in. 
night for Sadie Hawkins' day. Oh! oh. Abner, tomorrow we is liable to be bachelors no more. Lou Abner, sure wouldn't mind to have this dance with you. Shit. Oh. Hold on there, Lou Joe. You had your share. Lou Abner, I wish you to dance with you. Oh, I don't want to dance. Don't make no difference. Who say you got it? That's right. Oh, shit. Hawkins Bachelor Beauty Review. All bachelors line up here by the platform. Come on, Lee Lamley, using this contest. But he's resolved for me. Can't help it. All the bachelors got to get in line. That's the rule. Go on. Show enough. <laughs> Lots of men. I'm going to smile pretty. I aims to get myself kissed for marriage. Me too. Then squaw build them fire. Are you ready? Start the music. I wish to consult with you about our honeymoon. Tomorrow night you'll be mine, Lavna dear. Just think. Oh, I is a thinking. About me? I was trying to figure out why it's safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. Your riddle is simple. On account it's safer to chase than to be chased. Chase? To be chased? I did it now. Oh, happy Sadie Hawkins Day. He's cool, Wendy Wildcat. You surely is anxious. From what I hear, that little Abner's worth catching. <laughs> you just got to catch him this yard, Daisy May. <laughs> Morning, Mammy Yoakum. Good day for the race, Mayor. Show sure is, show sure is. All bachelors to the starting line. All Mighty fine practice here, Mayor. Got a good yard, good yard. Yes, sir. Well, good luck, boys. Hi, Mayor. Good Never luck, seen boys. a more determined-looking lot of girls. But, Pansy, what if Wendy Wildcat catches him? Howdy, Sassafras. I ain't seen you since last Sadie Hawkins Day. If you ain't gonna do nothing for our son, I is. Is I? I is. Bring him to me. I'll take you up. Yes. <laughs> Say, you two's as bachelors, ain't ya? Sure enough! Well, get in line, then. Oh, all right. 
Hello? It's the earthquake. What do you want, little man? Uh, I would like to make a business call on you. What business a little skunk like you got with me? Ah, please hold your horses. <laughs> First, I want you to keep your windy wildcat from marrying Miss Parcel Little F. Does she catch him in the race? I met your son. Does you give me that bar? I guarantee you'll never see Wendy Wildcat again. I know. You promise on your honor? I promise. Yup, it's high noon. Clear the car. Now everybody understands the rules. When I fire the gun the first time, the bachelor's takes off. Two minutes later, I fire the gun the second time, and the gals takes off. Any bachelor that gets catch has got to ask the gal to marry with him. Yeah, all you got to remember is to bring your man to me here. And I'm guaranteed to give you the finest wedding in the That's all. Everybody get ready. On your mark. All ready. Get set. got a chance with me. Go get him, Wendy! We for you! Ready! Already! Get on your mark!
You catch a polecat, bar and squar. You miserable critter, you! Always runs away. Daisy Holland, but you ought to see him go on stage. 